Welcome to the first edition of Beyond the Boardroom with David Reed. Uh, our first episode will talk about safety and security. And so I have our safety and security team with me. I have our director of safety and security, Steve Keeper, our new chief of police, Robert Fossey, and our two SROs, Seth Deer and Marty Fox. And the first thing we want to talk about is why did we create the Choctaw Nicola Park Police Force and how it's funded? So I'm going to direct that uh, question to our head of safety and security, Steve Keeper. That's a great question. Over the years, we've had some boundaries whenever we're working with our kids. So the creation of our police department is basically to serve our kids better. Sometimes we have boundaries that we couldn't go visit our kids for home visits or anything that we needed to do. Creating our own police department allows us more freedom to do the things to serve our kids. The funding, we started about a year ago working on this project and we have funding that's come from grants that we've written. And then in the past, we've had SRO monies built into our budget and in that we'll take both of those and combine those to work with our police departments to better serve our, our kids, our staff, and our community. Perfect. This next question I'll direct to Chief Bossy. Chief, talk to us about how the Choctaw Nacoma Park Police Department compares to a regular municipal police department. Are there any differences, similarities? Talk to us about that in general. Well, we are a fully functional police department. Um, our jurisdiction consists of any school property that's owned or rented by the school system. Um, we work cases, take everyday calls. Anything that happens on that campus is in, within our jurisdiction. We will be dealing with that as a police department. Uh, it gives, by having our own police department, it gives us a chance to interact with the students and build a better relationship with them, as well as alleviate some of the stressors from the municipal police departments that our jurisdiction is in with them trying to cover the streets and cover the schools. This way they can have more officers out on the streets and yet we still don't pull officers away from the school because that's our primary responsibility is the school. Talk to us, uh, each of you, about what a typical day for an SRO may look like. Where you're primarily stationed or you're officed out of, but also the other buildings that you cover and just some of the, the things that you may be doing on a daily basis. We'll start with you. I'm primarily housed out of the high school, out of Choctaw High School. I also cover Westfall Elementary. Um, typical day is interact with the students, the staff, uh, make sure that they're all feeling safe, you know, talk to them, make sure they're not having any issues or that they're seeing. And if they do, they bring us an issue, do our best to alleviate that problem within our scope of power. And next, Officer Deer. So I'll be out of Nicola Park, um, covering the three schools over there, Nicola Park uh, Middle School, Elementary, and Intermediate. I'll also be covering the uh, new purchase program. Um, so my, my main office will be in the middle school. And the main typical day is, you know, just interacting with kids, making sure that everyone's okay. Um, while, while also trying to uh, make sure everyone's safe, the school's safe, and then, uh, you know, if these guys need help, go and help them in wherever they need help at. Um, throughout, the, throughout the week, we also kind of check in on, uh, on the other schools, bouncing in and out, just uh, that way everybody in the district knows who we are. Excellent. And off to Fox. So, I will actually be housed out at Choctaw Middle School, but I'll be going to all the other Choctaw schools as well, right? Here has the park, all the the Choctaw schools. And I'm gonna go and bury myself in the mornings to see wherever I am. So that I can get to know kids, not just when things go wrong, I also get to know them on their good days. And then of course when anyone has a problem, I'll be responding. And if they ever have a problem, I'll be secondary. Awesome. Well, my next question is for you, Mr. Keeker. Yes, sir. Talk to me about game day protocols. Last year we redid game day protocols. Is there gonna be any new protocols put down? Are we going to follow the same ones that were implemented last year? Why do we have those? All those sort of things. So that's a great question. In the world we live in today is we found out throughout the years that our protocols at our events need to be as secure as possible but as friendly as possible. So there's a fine line that we'll be working with and with this group of uh, police officers we will be working through those events with all of our different uh, departments uh, that might need coverage, we will be doing that. But typically what we did last year in a football game, 
Uh, we will have uh, police officers on site. We will have all kinds of security in place so that we can make sure that the kids, our staff, the patrons, people that attend all of our events, that they feel safe. Perfect. And Chief, if someone needs to get a hold of one of you guys, what's the best way to get a hold of them? Well, due to the fact we're going to be out in the field covering several different schools, the best way to get a hold of us is send us an email. Our email addresses will be on the website along with this video. Uh, and the best way to get in contact with you, leave that in there as well. And we will contact you as soon as possible, depending on where we need to go. If you're at one of our sites and you notice something in the parking lot that needs you know, immediate attention, if it is a life or death emergency, of course, call 911. If it is not a life or death emergency, you can call the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office at 405-869-2501 and speak with one of our dispatchers there, and they will get a hold of us via radio, and we will respond accordingly. Well, thank everyone for being a part of this, and we hope that you, the community, uh, are happy with the product um, that we will be providing for you that will help uh, to only enhance the safety and security of our school district. We look forward to seeing everyone next Tuesday when school starts.